सो एज ए फ्रेशर यू हैव लॉट्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डाउट्स और कंसर्न और मिथ्स अबाउट दी सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग राइट सो इफ यू आर जम्पिंग इन टू दी सॉफ्टवेयर टेस्टिंग करियर वट आर द डिफरेंट मिथ्स दैट नीड्स टू बी बस्टेड राइट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट दी सेवन इंपॉर्टेंट मिथ्स और राइट सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट Uh, welcome to the testing academy guys my name is pramod and today we are going to discuss about the important myths we're going to discuss about the salary we will discuss about the couple of myths that needs to be busted for especially for the qa freshers okay so first one is basically let's talk about the first one which is testing is easy uh many times this is very very important i have got this question many times where people uh, freshers especially telling me that okay uh, this uh, software testing uh, that i am jumping into right i have two options right now for example a developer or a tester and uh, i think testing is easy because i am not comfortable with coding so uh, let's jump into the testing right this is really really a bad mindset according to me i'll tell you why because i'll tell you that uh, testing is nothing is easy actually nothing is easy you have to own the product quality i'll let me tell you one scenario okay so suppose you are into software testing and you have like now, now you have like one to two years experience now you are owning the quality of that product right now if there is any production bug you are responsible for it so imagine imagine all the stakeholders like pm uh, product and owners and all the all the person are basically pointing you towards that you have missed a particular bug so trust me self rate testing is not easy so that is the first myth that is completely busted it is not easy career even if you are going with the manual testing it is not easy you have to you have you you will you will eventually face a stress i have faced many time in my 9 plus years of experience right so this is really important second important one which is self debatable i mean to say debatable topic where people are comparing where people are comparing with the so software developer so whenever you are comparing your salary for example a software tester salary with the developer uh till 5 to 6 years experience right you will find that uh, software testers are getting less salary as compared to the developer this is totally totally uh, you can see especially in the asian market especially in india bangalore chennai right daily you will find this important things where software testers are getting the less salary as compared to the software developer this is this is true for that but my point is uh, you can basically go into the sd dot Uh, live and QA salary. Let's go to the link and see. My point is that after certain years, after you attain around five to six years experience, and now you have to work as a so managerial work or a QA manager, QA lead now, right? Now the salary will be, uh, I think, uh, very much uh, comparable as compare to the developers, right? So this is really important. Uh, yes. i totally agree with this that uh, software testers will get less salary as compared to the developer if you compare it with it uh, but uh, eventually after certain experience the the difference is little less as compared to this okay awesome and uh, there's a video i want uh, you to watch uh, this is basically this video which is salary of a developer versus tester and uh, let me uh, show you how you can basically watch this you can go to the youtube uh right and uh, basically search for this uh, uh search for this link basically developer versus tester right and you will find this uh, video which is i have basically given the exact data uh, what is the difference and exact amount in this video also which is tester versus developer salary okay so that was the myth yes uh, again it's uh the difference is there the third important point is manual testing is enough many times many times this question has been asked me by the software qas especially is fresher that uh, is manual testing is enough because i hate coding i hate coding and uh, i want to only keep uh, myself to the manual testing point of view let me tell you with my experience manual testers i have seen 16 plus years of manual testers right now i think uh, there is a person i have seen around 18 plus years but at that time but right now but they are working as a, they are working as a subject matter expert we call them smes so they are expert in e-commerce domain they are expert in crm related some domain right so uh, for example in a banking domain 
right so those things are important uh, after certain years even like if you are even uh, five to six years experience when you have right you will start uh, basically working as a manager manager role where you will be mostly doing the manager kind of a stuff you are, you will not be writing the test cases you will not you are basically helping them the team to give the proper estimates you are basically on the product rather than uh, basically at a low level you are working okay so my point is manual testing is enough you are uh, this is really really bad myth you have to learn certain technical aspects you have to learn uh, so if you want to so these are the point i would like to highlight is that if you want to hike if you want uh, a decent hike in your salary i would suggest you go towards the automation automation is right now becoming a must for everyone or you have to become sme which is subject matter expert big companies are right now hiring automation engineer as that's more nowadays and they are giving very very good decent packages so definitely even if you hate coding i would recommend uh, practice the coding uh, it will take time it will take you one year or two years but after that you will eventually jump but i would request you uh, to watch this video which is is manual testing dying uh, this video again you will find it uh, here in the software testing channel uh, basically youtube go to youtube slash c slash testing academy and search it here is manual testing dying or you can go to this link where what is the future of manual testing in these two videos i have discussed about uh, how uh, manual testing right now happening i mean what is the current trends right now and is it enough for you guys especially as a fresher right and the four important point is you can't live without the automation this is really important uh, and uh, there is a video i would like to especially watch uh, watch all of you to how to become an sdet or an automation engineer with six figure salary right this uh, where in this video i have talked about like how many people many many people that i have seen were, are able to switch from manual testing to automation by following a certain path uh, even if they hate uh, the software uh, coding part of it because see very important thing i'm i would like to give you and with this very frank, frank point you don't require a hardcore coding you don't require a very hardcore data structure when doing the automation in the software testing right you require very basic knowledge i would say if if you are comfortable in core java if you understand the basic concepts of oops and all, all the things and if you understand one or two design pattern in java then definitely you can move to the automation i mean this is really uh, really surprising people are afraid because they think uh, there is a database things that we have to learn we have to basically go to the core of the java java language or python or javascript no you don't have to go with if you are comfortable in core if you are comfortable with design pattern uh, definitely and if you are comfortable with selenium command different commands or advanced concept that they provide right you will basically excel in the automation okay so that's really important and i would highly recommend any one person who's basically watching this start moving towards automation this will be really really helpful for you guys uh, knowledge of manual testing is not required this is a really really bad myth many times reverse happens uh, people at uh, people want to do a automation directly and they are not comfortable in manual testing so this is this is again i would recommend uh, this is really really a bad myth you have to be comfortable or a decent in a manual testing before jumping into the automation also so if you if you want to become an automation directly automation engineer directly you have to become a decent at the manual testing this is really important and the very important point which is six point which is software testing is a boring job and uh, i would suggest it's big no no it's not a boring challenges are everywhere you will find lots of different challenges even in the uh, even in the uh, manual testing that you are doing right i'm going to give you one example so when i was doing the manual testing i basically automated or you can say created scripts around uh, where whatever the manual test task i was doing right so you can always find the challenges and you can basically convert them with some automation or help or you can basically whatever the repetitive task that you are doing right you can uh, do or create some scripts or some logic around it so that manual testing is not boring for you again okay and uh, the seven import seven important is software testers have le less respect i would i i would totally agree with this yes qa people are given low respect uh, it's basically kind of a no uh, you can say uh, you are releasing a product you are releasing you are you are basically owning the product owning the quality but eventually developers will get the uh, benefit or you can say praise most of the time right so it happens many time but there are ways to fix it you there are ways to fix it i have discussed this in couple of videos also so bonus point software testing is dying definitely no 
AI, there are a couple of freshers who are basically saying that AI will kill this software tester. This, this is not going to happen. Manual tester will be there. Automation tester will be there in the long run also. So these are the seven important uh, myths I would recommend. Uh, uh, if you are till now uh, watching this, thanks a lot for watching this video. I hope you have learned something new and you have got some mindset about how uh, these things are there and uh, as a fresher your myths will be busted right but i would recommend you start watching these videos because this contains lots of different trends and important stuff okay thanks a lot for watching i'll see you in the next video bye